NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth. On October 3rd, 3i Atlas will pass within 29 million kilometers of our planet, a brief but historic encounter with the third confirmed interstellar visitor ever seen in our skies. A bright green comet has suddenly appeared, pulling the gaze of telescopes and headlines alike, its emerald glow unlike anything observed before. For the first time, astronomers know exactly when this interstellar wanderer will make its stunning arrival. And what they have found so far is rewriting our understanding of how worlds form across the galaxy. Official records confirm that 3i Atlas was first spotted on July 1st, moving at a blazing 61 kilometers per second relative to the Sun. Its trajectory is not the closed loop of a solar system comet, but an open hyperbolic path, the unmistakable signature of an object from beyond the Sun's gravitational grasp. Yet velocity alone is not what makes 3i Atlas remarkable. Its sudden and unexplainable transformation into a vivid green beacon has baffled professionals and amateurs alike. As it speeds toward its closest approach to Mars on October 3rd, then swings by the Sun on October 29th, scientists are scrambling to decipher the alien chemistry it carries. Whatever secrets lie inside this icy messenger may be older than the Sun itself. The story began not with professional observatories, but with backyard telescopes. On the night of September 7th, as a total lunar eclipse painted the sky red, images of the comet began to circulate online. In Austria, Michael Jurger captured a faint icy blue coma around the nucleus. Hours later, Gerald Raymond in Namibia posted a new frame showing the same object, but now glowing emerald green. Across astronomy forums and social media, the reaction was immediate. No one could recall a comet changing colors so suddenly or so dramatically. Time-stamped images poured in from every continent, each confirming the same strange transformation. A neutral haze giving way to a green, so intense it looked almost artificial. The shift didn't match any known cometary behavior. Normally, a green coma signals the presence of dicarbon molecules fluorescing in sunlight. But the timing was wrong, the hue too bright, and the brightness too strong to be explained by dicarbon alone. Veteran comet chasers compared notes, double-checked their filters, and recalibrated their sensors. The results held up. The green glow was real, and it wasn't going away. Even after the eclipse ended, 3i Atlas remained cloaked in its emerald halo, defying quick explanations. The amateur observations set the tone, pushing professional astronomers to schedule urgent spectroscopic follow-ups. For the first time, the world was watching an interstellar visitor reveal a secret no one could decode. The Atlas Survey Telescope at Rio Hurtado, Chile, had actually flagged the object weeks earlier on July 1st. Its software, tuned to pick out unusually fast movers, had spotted something that didn't fit the patterns of local bodies. Follow-up checks confirmed it. The arc of its orbit was not bound to the Sun. The Minor Planet Center soon issued the designation 3i Atlas, the third confirmed interstellar object discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System. For the Atlas team spread across time zones and continents, the confirmation was a mix of awe and disbelief. Years of refining algorithms and chasing elusive signals had finally paid off. The data showed an interstellar comet traveling at a blistering 61 kilometers per second, its hyperbolic trajectory undeniable. This was not a body from our backyard. It had come from the depths of another star system. The real surprises, however, emerged in the chemistry. Spectroscopic observations from ground and space telescopes delivered results no one expected. The green glow persisted, yet the usual culprit, dicarbon, was absent. Instead, 3i Atlas's coma was dominated by carbon dioxide. The ratio of carbon dioxide to water was about 8 to 1, a complete reversal of the pattern seen in solar system comets, where water dominates and carbon dioxide is a faint afterthought. Cyanogen and carbonyl sulfide appeared in small but steady amounts, while water ice and carbon monoxide were present but unusually weak.
none of these could explain the intense emerald hue captured in images. Chemists described the results as both exhilarating and frustrating. The glow was real, but the known molecules weren't responsible. The anomalies didn't stop with the comet's bizarre green glow. As more instruments locked onto 3i Atlas, its spectrum revealed something so peculiar that even seasoned comet researchers paused. Across dozens of independent observations, astronomers expected to see the familiar pairing of iron and nickel, two metals that have been cosmically inseparable since the birth of the solar system. In every comet studied to date, these elements appear together, released from dust grains and ices in ratios that mirror the primordial material of planets and asteroids. But 3i Atlas shattered that expectation. Its gas was unusually rich in nickel, so much so that spectrographs lit up with 22 distinct emission lines glowing in the ultraviolet. The strongest of these, at 3524.5 angstroms, shone nearly two orders of magnitude brighter than any iron feature. And iron itself? Almost entirely absent. The imbalance was so extreme, so foreign to cometary science, that teams at multiple observatories assumed there had to be a calibration error. Yet each repeated measurement told the same story. Careful cross-checks with control stars, recalibrated sensors, and independent analyses confirm the finding. This was no accident of measurement. 3i Atlas was profoundly nickel-rich and iron-poor. To planetary scientists, this result was nothing short of revolutionary. In our solar system, iron and nickel are partners, born in the hearts of ancient supernovae and bound together in the metallic cores of planets. Their chemistry is so tightly linked that their ratio is treated as a cosmic constant. For 3i Atlas to break that rule meant it was carrying material forged under conditions no comet here had ever known. Theorists scrambled to explain. One radical idea gained traction. Perhaps the nickel was locked in organometallic compounds, exotic molecules where nickel atoms bond with carbon in fragile structures. These compounds, unlike metallic iron grains, could sublimate under ultraviolet radiation at relatively low temperatures. In this scenario, 3i Atlas's passage near the Sun might liberate nickel gas into its coma, while iron remained trapped in more refractory heat-resistant minerals. The notion was controversial, but it fit the data better than any alternative. If true, it meant that 3i Atlas had preserved a chemistry formed not in a warm planetary nursery like our own, but in the distant frozen outskirts of a protoplanetary disk. This raised profound implications. Such a composition suggested that 3i Atlas had originated in an environment where carbon dominated and water was scarce, a place colder and older than anything in our solar system. The comet's unusual balance of volatiles and metals hinted at a world where the building blocks of planets followed pathways alien to our own. Over billions of years, perhaps more than 7 billion, the comet had drifted through interstellar space, carrying this chemistry like a sealed time capsule. Now, by sheer chance, it had wandered into our skies, revealing secrets of a planetary system long vanished. Hints of the comet's strangeness had actually appeared even before its official discovery, on July 17, 2024, the William Herschel Telescope in the Canary Islands recorded a polarimetric signal so extreme it left researchers stunned. The strongest negative polarization ever measured in a comet. At first, suspicion fell on the instruments. Negative polarization at that level had never been seen before, and it seemed too extreme to be real. But repeated runs, careful checks with calibration stars, and independent confirmation eliminated any doubt. The signal was genuine. Polarization in comets reflects the scattering behavior of dust grains, their shapes, surfaces, and structures. In solar system comets, the patterns are well cataloged. But the curve for 3i Atlas resembled not comets at all, but the distant trans-Neptunian objects. 
icy relics at the far edge of our own system that have remained untouched since its birth. This suggested that the dust grains in 3i Atlas's coma were built differently, shaped by environments utterly foreign to our sun. Their microscopic structures, perhaps more porous, more fragile, or infused with exotic ices and organics, bore the fingerprint of a star system where the rules of chemistry diverged from our own. Meanwhile, Hubble observations, taken just before the telescope was forced to avert its gaze for safety, placed an upper limit on the comet's nucleus, no larger than 5.2 kilometers across, possibly much smaller. But even this constraint carried intrigue. The nucleus remains hidden behind a thick, carbon dioxide-rich coma, but faint thermal readings suggest a compact, dense body. If so, 3i Atlas is a survivor, a remnant that has endured the harshness of interstellar travel for billions of years. The conclusion became unavoidable. This was not merely a visitor, but a fragment of a planetary system that predated our own sun, now passing through our skies like a ghost from the galaxy's past. The challenge, however, is that Earth's most powerful observatories will not be able to witness the comet during its most crucial moments. As 3i Atlas approaches perihelion on October 29th, the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble will be forced to turn away. Their safety protocols prohibit pointing near the sun, and neither telescope can risk exposure. Behind the scenes, allocation committees debated fiercely. Some astronomers pleaded for exceptions, calling this a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Others warned that a single mistake could doom instruments that represent decades of investment and irreplaceable capability. In the end, caution prevailed. The eyes of Earth will remain blind just when 3i Atlas reaches its most revealing stage. Fortunately, another planet will take humanity's place. Mars, trailing just inside the comet's path, offers a unique vantage point. Its fleet of orbiters, including the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and MAVEN, are being hurriedly retasked to observe the encounter. Engineers have worked against the clock to adjust schedules, recalibrate instruments, and secure observation slots. On October 3, 2025, as 3i Atlas passes closest to Mars, these spacecraft will provide humanity's only uninterrupted line of sight. For a brief moment, the Red Planet will become our outpost for interstellar science, standing in for Earth at the very edge of discovery. The strange case of 3i Atlas also underscores how easily such cosmic emissaries can slip through our grasp. The comet had been captured in archival data years before anyone recognized it. In 2023, the test mission recorded its faint trail as a moving point of light, overlooked by automated algorithms. A year later, the Vera Rubin Observatory, still in its testing phase, also imaged it. But the data, buried among millions of test frames, lay unnoticed. Only after the official discovery did scientists trace the comet's path backward, realizing how close they had come to missing it altogether. For many astronomers, this was a wake-up call. Some called it the near-miss that ended the era of cometary luck. From now on, systematic, real-time searches would be essential, not optional. The impact has been immediate. The Vera Rubin Observatory, once fully operational, will scan the entire sky every few nights with a depth and speed unmatched in history. Its algorithms, refined by lessons learned from 3i Atlas, will be trained to flag hyperbolic trajectories and unusual spectral colors in real time. Meanwhile, mission planners are developing concepts for rapid-response probes, lightweight spacecraft capable of launching on short notice to intercept interstellar visitors. Designs range from solar sail flyers to modular science packages and swarms of mini-probes. The goal is simple, to capture data before these messengers slip away forever. For astronomers, 3i Atlas has become a touchstone, a case study in how the galaxy can surprise us. Its overwhelming carbon dioxide, its nickel dominance, its lack of iron and dicarbon all point to environments older, colder, and stranger than anything in our solar system. Each anomaly becomes a clue, 
each unexplained detail a window into the diversity of planetary systems across the stars. The comet tells us that the universe does not play by the narrow rules we derived from our local neighborhood. Instead, it offers a spectrum of possibilities far broader, more complex, and more ancient than we imagined. On October 3, 2025, 3i Atlas will pass closest to Mars, offering humanity a fleeting chance to study a survivor from another star system. Weeks later, it will round the sun and fade into the dark, vanishing into the interstellar night. Many mysteries will remain unsolved. The exact source of its green glow, the details of its nucleus, the true origins of its exotic chemistry. Yet its legacy will endure. 3i Atlas has proven that interstellar visitors are not rare curiosities. They are vital emissaries, carrying with them the fingerprints of alien worlds and reminding us that our solar system is only one small example of what the galaxy can create. As humanity builds better surveys and faster probes, the cosmos will continue to send its emissaries. Each one will challenge our models, expand our horizons, and remind us that our solar system is but one example among countless others. For now, 3i Atlas shines green in our skies, a symbol of the strange and wonderful diversity of worlds beyond, a reminder that the universe still holds secrets waiting to be discovered.